Hello, hello, hello! Good morning everyone! Mega love shout out to all the subscribers and followers of this channel. And if you are new to my channel, please... <laughs> Subscribe to like, share. Don't forget to ring the bell buttons for the next notification. She like. Leave a comment, subscribe for subscribe. Right. Our lesson for today is the measurement of mass and weight. This is a, still for week one of the second. The measurement of mass. The measurement of mass. So mass is a property of matter. The mass of an object is a measure of the amount of matter it contains. The standard unit of mass is the kilogram. One kilogram of the mass of one liter of water is a temperature of, of, of at a temperature of, of four degrees Celsius and a pressure of one atmosphere. Other units are formed in the same way as the units of length. The mass of an object does not vary with the location. It remains the same even the position of the object is changed with reference to the Earth's center. Mass is measured by using the equal arm balance or triple beam balance. To use the platform balance, the unknown mass is placed on the left pan and the standard masses of the different values are added in the right pan until the two pan balance. The rider is used to get exact balancing. We have the unit of mass. Okay. So for 10 milligram is equals to 1 centigram. 10 centigram is equals to 1 decigram. 10 decigram is equal to 1 gram. 10 grams is equals to 1 decagram. And 10 decagrams is equals to 1 hectogram. 10 hectograms is equal to 1 kilogram and 1,000 kilogram is equal to 1 ton. <clears throat> Some problems encountered in our daily con undertaking sometimes involve in conversion from metric to English units. A metric unit of mass is a kilogram while an English unit of mass is log. One slug equals 32 pounds, and one kilogram equals 2.2 pounds. Certain bigger units of mass can be converted into certain smaller units of mass or vice versa. Example, change 3.5 kilograms to uh, 3.5 kilograms to grams. So, we know that for 1,000 grams, That is equals to 1 kilogram. Okay. So, if we have 3.5 kilogram times, we will use this as unit since we are using kilograms. So, pataas natin yung, kilo, yung grams. And then, so that we can cancel the kilogram unit. So, this is canceled. Okay, so 3.5, that is 3,500 grams. Alright. Next. Change 
3,500 grams to kilogram. So, this way, binaligtad lang natin kanina. So, we know that 1,000 grams is equals to 1 kilogram. So, this time, babalik tarin natin ang units. So, we have 3,500 grams times 1 kilogram over 1,000 grams. So, dagdagan natin na zero. Okay. So, cancel natin yung zero. Okay. So, 35 divided by 10 is 3.5 kilogram. Okay. Next. Okay, example number three. So we have 132 pounds to kilogram. Okay, so for our solution, we know that uh, for one kilogram, okay, for one kilogram, that is equal to 2.2 pounds. Okay, so one kilogram. equals 2.2 pounds. So, LB stands for pounds. So, 132 LB or pound times 1 kilogram over 1 pound so, cancel natin yung pound. Therefore, ay, sorry, the, this, these are 2 point, no, 1 kilogram is equals to 2.2 pounds. So, cancel natin yung pound now. And then, <clears throat> so, 132 divided by 2.2, that is about 60 kilogram. So, you may use calculator or you can do it manually. Okay? Next. Example number four. What is the maximum load in kilogram of a bridge with road sign caution? Five metric tons only. So, if we are going to convert that, so we know that 1,000 kilogram is equals to one metric tons. Okay? So, one ton. Okay, so cancel na din. So, since we have 5 metric tons to kilogram, so 5T times 1,000 kilogram over 1 ton. So, cancel natin ito. So, 5 times 1,000 is 5,000 kilogram. Okay, so that means the capacity of that bridge is only 5,000 kilograms. Okay, next. So the content of a pack of, okay, so this is already example number 6. So the content of a pack of powdered milk is 400 grams. How many kilograms are in a pack? So we know that uh, for 1,000 1,000 grams, that is equals to 1 kilogram. So, since we are needing the, the smallest, so from small to biggest, so we have 400 grams times 1 kilogram over 1,000 grams. Okay, so we need to cancel grams unit. So, next cancel all the zeros so therefore we have 4 over 10 kilogram or about so we get the, the LCD which is 2 4 divided by 2 is 2 and 10 divided by 2 is 5 or 2 fifth then we can uh, change that into decimal 2 divided by 5 equals to zero 
so 20 divided by 5 is 4 so we have 20 that means 0 0.4 kilogram okay that's it all right so write unit of mass will you use for each of the following okay um for the load of a sun so we can use of course kilogram or ton no parang it's like tons because uh, our load of a sun is about um, several metric tons yun. so we can use t then for a pencil that's so easy we can have say centigram so we can write here cg the hollow block of course kilogram kg a cup of tea is so a cup of tea is about gram and then a bicycle is in kilogram no okay okay so let us express the following measures into the indicated units for example 78 kilogram to gram okay so how is that it's about uh, 78 times 1,000, that is 7,800 grams, okay, so then we have here, so without, I uh, know, without, we know that 2,500 divided by 1,000, that's 2.5 kilogram, and we know that for 1,000 milligram, that's what, so 1 gram, so this will be, three uh, three point eighty eight grams and for thirty six kilogram okay times two point two pound over one kg so just multiply three point two times thirty six uh, sorry 2.2 .2 pala 2.2 2.2 times 36 so um, we have 12 12 13 6 6 okay so 2 9 7 79 that is about 79.2 pounds all right okay so for questions and clarifications just write it at the comment sections remember gratitude is the best attitude thank you so much i love you all Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.